Hello everyone, today we are going to be making some homemade sushi and for so you're going to be needing some cucumber, carrot, an egg, some rice, some tuna or other fish of your choice, and some nori or sushi paper, as well with some soy sauce for dipping. First we are boiling some rice. And as you can see, they are now chopped. So I've taken some avocado, carrot, and cucumber. And I've made sure that they're chopped vertically and in thin slices so that we can roll them later. We're also going to now chop the omelette that we made earlier. Also, now that the rice has boiled, I've taken it outside. We've got to make sure that it's cool so that when we roll it, it's not too hot. We're going to make sure that we cut the egg in the same way vertically. Now that we've cut the omelette into vertical stripes, we can start preparing our sushi. Pat it as so and make sure that it's all evenly spread out so that it's not too lumpy. Also, because it's sticky, we're also going to be adding some water to make sure that it's properly stuck down properly. Make sure that you can fill it with the rice evenly. Not too much rice though and that it sticks properly to the seaweed paper. And then we're going to start to layer it properly. Just take your thin slices and first I'm going to start off with the omelette. Then continue on with some carrot pieces. I'm just using three, you just need to make sure that it's all evenly spread out. Adding some cucumber also. And you can add whatever you want to. I've got some avocado and tuna as well. But if you would like, you can add some seafood sticks or crab sticks or salmon. Whatever you prefer to have. So I'm going to add some tuna as well. Okay. You don't really need this mat, but if you have it, it will help you kind of roll it up. So, And then we're going to start rolling it, as so. Make sure that it's all good. Now that both of them have been rolled, we can start the process of cutting it up into proper sushi. Happy eating! And now 
the sushi is prepared. You can also accompany it with some soy sauce for better taste. If you liked my recipe, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching!